Yeah, we are at the Bang Your Head Festival 2015 and I have one of the coolest bands on this fucking planet here. Please introduce yourself again. I'm uh, JB from uh, Grand Magus. Yeah, you played here in the bright sun, in the fucking heat and you're from Sweden. Mm. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was a, a tough day to be a Viking in. Uh, we're not we're not used to this heat. Yeah. Mm. But it was. I think I saw your show. You enjoyed yourself. Or? Yeah, it was great. I mean, um, the crowd was fantastic. Yeah. I think if if I had been in the crowd today, I would probably have crawled into a, you know the shade somewhere. But <laughs> they were really really good, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I guess uh, it was the real people there. All the others were in the tents. The pussies were in the tents. Or Absolutely, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, it was great. It yeah. was great. So over the years, I you developed from a, I would say, kind of doomy band to a kind of epic heavy metal band. And this development is, for me, it's it's still going on. What can we expect next from you? Um, I don't think we're gonna. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna change in any, uh, you know, extreme way. Uh, our goal is just to write the best heavy metal music that we can, and uh, that's that's our focus. So we'll, uh, you know, um, we'll stick to the to the songwriting and uh, the performance and everything. So we're not gonna we're not gonna start playing different kinds of music. No. But your influences still show that uh, it's from back in the days, right? Yeah, but but it's not it's not only uh, it's not only bands like Rainbow and the Purple, but it's also obviously like Bathory and yeah. uh, also um, uh, you know uh, a lot of the Swedish death metal stuff, but in a in a different way. It's not necessarily. Uh, you know, we have the uh, the vocals are clean and and it's yeah. like more traditional, so we don't have death metal singing. But the lyrics are kind of, you know, there are a few bands that we have a lot of stuff in common with when it comes to lyrical themes and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've noticed that over the years your voice really developed into many ranges. Oh, cool. So. Uh, did you learn anything or did it happen because you play so often? Or? Uh, you know, singing is very much a, a physical thing. Uh, it's a bit like um, um, when you do sports, you yeah. discover after a while, you know, in the beginning it's difficult because you don't know the proper technique, but after yeah. a while your body just knows what is right and what is wrong. Um, so it's for me it's very a very natural thing I mean that doesn't mean it's it's easy like today uh, when it's so hot uh, you don't get uh, there's less o oxygen in the air I feel so in in some ways you're kind of just yeah you feel like you're gonna pass out but um, normally uh, I think my voice has grown stronger over the years so yeah I was really totally impressed. Oh, Today, cool. Cool. Absolutely. That's great. Even it was that hot, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you come from a from a re region in Sweden where it is like we Germans know it? It is dark in winter and not yeah. bright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm from the north part of Sweden and uh, you know, we used to uh, in the summer the sun the sun never really yeah. goes down and in the winter there's no sun for like uh, 6 months. So yeah, it's pretty rough, but on yeah. the other hand, I mean, um, I think that might be one of the explanations for uh, that there are many bands from Sweden, that there's there's not that many uh, weeks a year that you can spend on the beach, you know, yeah. so you, you, you spend your time in the rehearsal room and uh, you do music instead, you know. But I also think that um, in Sweden, rock music is a culture since many years, so that parents of bands like you already listen to hard rock or rock music on? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that might be true. But I mean, Germany, Germany is also, there's so many bands, so many great bands from Germany. Yeah. And I think there's still so many great bands coming out from Germany now. I mean, new new bands yeah. or, you know, new. Yeah. For me, <laughs> 10 years is new. But uh, I think, um, uh, 
you know, we like music. Yeah. Uh, we prefer, I mean, I prefer heavy metal music, but I like music in general, you know, yeah. and uh, I think uh, it's pretty much the same thing in Germany as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of the explanations for, for bands. Uh, so, yeah. so I guess you also know one of your oldest bands, November? Yeah, I was a huge November fan. Uh, I, I, I have their records and uh, I think they're very good. I haven't listened that much to November in the last like 10 years or something. But yeah, I mean, uh, I think uh, they're actually doing live shows and stuff now. But they're a great band and they were one of the first uh, Swedish hard rock bands ever so uh, yeah they're really good and I need to ask about heavy load too <laughs> I mean heavy load they were uh, they were proper heavy metal you know uh, and they did some great stuff uh, they were also extremely uncompromising and that's why they didn't continue because they, own company yeah, and all that stuff. they wanted everything their own way and uh, you know but hats off it's a good band really good band we also do a documentary about the new wave British heavy metal mm -hmm. so I asked this next question everybody I will do an interview with yeah was the new wave of British heavy metal any influence for your music of course I mean it's impossible not to uh, not to have an influence from that but I would say that for us Judas Priest which was before, really. Uh, Judas Priest is a much more important influence, uh, and also Black Sabbath, and uh, rather than uh, you know um, the stuff that came with the New Wave British Heavy Metal. But of course, I mean, Priest was such an important band for the New Wave British Heavy Metal. So obviously, we like Iron Maiden, and we like uh, you know a lot of the stuff that came out afterwards, and. Mm. Also Saxon, and yeah, Saxon yeah. for me is also it's before really, so yeah, the first kind one of was pretty, yeah. Pretty early, yeah. yeah. So uh, I would say British heavy metal, absolutely. Maybe not so much the new wave of British no. metal, but absolutely, it's still a part of it. So there's no chance to get around. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So much, so much good music. Okay, last question: When can we expect a new album from you? Uh, next year. We're working, uh, working on it right now, writing stuff, and uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty heavy, I think. Yeah. What, what I really absolutely, beside the music, I absolutely love the productions of your uh, yeah. records because it's powerful, but at the same time, it's totally natural sounding. Yeah. What is the secret? Do you play the basics live or something like that? Uh, well, I mean, we're. You know the band is pretty simple. We play simple music, but the focus is on the focus is on the songs. You know, and uh, there are no you know there are no tricks, so we don't do any tricks. Yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, you should go on with that. <laughs> so thank you, man, right. for this interview. Thanks. Next time we meet, maybe in Canada again, <laughs> or yeah. what, wherever. Yeah, wherever. I meet this guy all the time. It's yeah. he's everywhere. I am <laughs> yeah. almost almost everywhere. Thank All you, right. man. That was cool. <laughs>